Okay, so Jonathan, what do we got going on here? So, uh, I built a new light bulb. All right, woo, there we go. That's the high beam, huh? That is the high beam. So this is quite the accomplishment. Let's see what we got here. So this is really cool. This is a standalone plug-in to the existing infrastructure 2005 high beam LED replacement. It's a one amp system. It's got a cooling rack, cooling fan, and uh, very I'm nice. very, very happy that it's finally Very nice. Built. So finally, in the 2005 Subi Outback, we're running an LED headlight on the high beam. And um, what's different about, here, put it on there. What's different about the one that you were running than the one you were running in the Honda? It looks like the cooler is much smaller. Yeah, the, um, the hex, aluminum cooling rack that we use is uh, quite a bit smaller and we are actually using a smaller cooling array with a with a smaller cooling fan and we've affixed this one to plug directly into the standard plug using the standard interface and what do we we got um, one amp worth of light here yeah we got one amp worth of light driving out of six LED and these Luxian are K2. they're Luxian K2s and um, and you could be using what's the new Luxion bulbs? We're using the Rebels. Okay, so the, so but but these are the K twos, which is the previous generation. The Rebels would be even even a more focused light source, right, for the same amount. Yeah, they they'd actually produce the same light and the same pattern as these guys. Here, quit moving so I can get you. So. So talk about the heat transfer down the extruded aluminum hex rod. Um, I mean, you're going to have to do some design of experiments to see what kind of thermal impedance you're getting in terms of how far the CPU cooler can be from the light source, from where the waste heat's being generated. Yeah. Um, depending on the thermal impedance of the rod, which we don't really know, um, it, it could cause issues if the cooling rack is too far away from the where, where the heat is actually going in, which is a really small space. All the heat is coming in at one point, and at that point, we have to get as much heat out of that point as possible um, to extend the longevity of the LEDs. Um, so this rod, here shine it on there again. So both this rod and this CPU cooler are, are much smaller than um, what you were using in the, in the Honda Civic, huh? Well, in the Honda Civic, I was just going for overkill. Right, it was, like, it was we're initial going to prototype. We're cool this, we're going to make it work, and we're gonna fit it into this. So, and that was stabilized at about 125 degrees Fahrenheit, which is way below what the LEDs can handle. What what, what do you think this uh, this thing's stabilizing it, at? I bet you, right now it's pretty chilly out, I bet you it's stabilizing at about 155 degrees. Yeah, and, it, on, and on the bench, it was at 165 or so? On the bench, it was at like 165, Which is which still well below and 200. And that's, that's at the junction temperature, so that's actually on the LED contact itself. Right. So um, the aluminum rod wasn't getting that hot, but the LEDs are really what we need to keep cool. So yeah, and that and you know that's that's really a workable package. I mean, that's almost you could you can imagine that could be a commercial. And we could have shortened this up too. Product. We could have taken. And we don't we don't really know at this point, right? Until we do some experiments. Um, if you shorten that rod, if it if it is going to make an impact on on your um, on your cooling, yeah. Well, too short. Back up a little. Too short will never be an issue. Yeah. Too long could be an issue. Could yeah. Be an issue. And it'll depend on the car, right? And on the application as to. Well, yeah. It, well, if you look back in this car, we couldn't. We couldn't have it too short, or it would hit the existing frame here, and we yeah. couldn't have it too long, or it would, yeah, it would hit here. So this tight fan really allowed it to fit a really quite quite a tight package. And really, that we CP, could put it, that CPU cooler is really disruptive technology, right? Because I mean, that's a pretty little fancy piece of equipment. What was it, three dollars and ninety nine cents? Yeah, something like that. And it, what do you think it pulls a uh, point? 
it's I mean barely pulls a ten, oh oh the fifteen percent of an amp or something yeah it pulls point so um, so it's like it's 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 um, pretty cost effective really that really the, is the big cost of this light is really the LED bulbs right yeah LEDs themselves and then the driver and then the the constant current driver which which could protects probably be, the LEDs and that constant current driver could be replaced with some kind an of IC a, chip in a circuit that we build ourselves. And would the IC chip in the circuit be um, more cost effective? Yeah, I found them for like a dollar thirty-three per unit, but you have to buy a lot. Yeah. yeah. So, but if somebody's manufacturing this thing in China, um, it's you know, I mean, at this point, it's pretty cost effective compared with a halogen, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I was really excited and thinking up. <clears throat> yeah. It's, extremely cost effective um well i don't know how you can get for six dollars today not really i mean that the uh, i mean but this this lamp will last two two hundred years in this vehicle yeah without without burning out yeah pretty um, amazing so are the leds as long as they stay below go the toggle the high the high lows for me There we go, baby. Pretty sweet. Nice job. Hey, Jonathan. That's pretty amazing. Pretty friggin' amazing. Congratulations again on prototype number five. Prototype five or six. And what's the date today? This is uh, this is February twentieth, two thousand ten. February twentieth, and and your original design was September of. <laughs> A long time Let's ago. Not talk about it. <laughs> but hey, look what I actually made. Woo! -hoo, I can't even look baby! At it. so yeah! Great. Actually, can, can you get it to show the points of the star? I, I don't know. Can we? There it is. 